Hi everyone! I'm gonna make homemade chipotle bowls today and I'm following a recipe that I got on TikTok. Um, Emily Mariko. So anyways, we need a bird in this one. So Coco, Mama's been following this girl on TikTok and her food looks amazing. And her name is Emily Mariko. So she made her homemade chipotle bowls. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we've got pork, pork shoulder, pepper, oranges. Uh, this is supposed to be, I'm supposed to make my own rub, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna use this and chili powder. Uh, onions and garlic. So this is for the meat. I think it's carnitas. Let me check. Yeah, so this is the carnitas part. And it goes in the crock pot for eight hours. And here comes another one of my helpers for carnita bowls. Or no, carnitas. This is what it's like cooking with birds. I kind of stopped cooking. Oh, wow. Six, seven, eight years ago. I used to cook all the time. I started getting this aversion, like sensory thing where I don't want to touch certain things. So I'm trying to overcome it. So meat is the one thing that I don't like touching, but I'm trying to do it so we can have food again. So Coco, we got to throw a bit of bird in here. So these are all things that birds cannot have. Meat, onions, garlic, Fat from the from the from the uh, pork. Uh, no chili, no salt. Oh, I don't know about chili. No salt and no pepper. But you're able to have like hot spicy peppers, right? But not cocoa. Newman likes spicy peppers. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so it's all in the pot. Um, I think next time I'm just going to use orange juice if I like the recipe. Doesn't look like much, but it's going to go in for eight hours, low, low heat. Looks like Cookie is one of my new cooking companions, eh, Cook? Yeah, and new men. Anyways, another reason why I get freaked out cooking meat and touching it is like, what if... The meat, raw meat touches something my birds eat, or raw meat touches a plate that touches a fork that touches a cutting board that touches the bird food that I eat, or no, the bird food that um, they eat. So that's one of my fears. They die of um, salmonella. So this is after six hours. Here it is, after seven hours, Coco. What do you think? Huh? Corn, black beans, and butter will be warm. Ah, my fangirls are here. The fangirls are here helping me make the cilantro, the cilantro uh, rice. Hello. How am I gonna cook with you two punks in here? You're attacking me. I can't cook like that. I'm gonna have to shoot you out. Like shoot, shoot fly, shoot fly. Got uh, rice with butter and garlic. Got cilantro with lime juice, which is gonna be mixed in there. I didn't show this part. Uh, mashed avocado with onion, cilantro, tomato. Uh, and I have this all ready for pickled garlic. Oh, there's a bit of garlic. How's your rice and beans? Huh? You like that? Your rice and beans, were they good? This is no more. You didn't even touch your rice and beans. You like Nutri-Berries and mash and grapes, right? That's it. Okay, so um, 
You have to, once the meat is done, you need to crisp it, right? So I'm broiling it so it crisps up. What the heck? What the heck? Look at it. Somebody's just climbing down. Where are you going? Right. What do you think? There it is. Now you're having the rice. You're gonna explode. 